Now let's let's go to a darker, a darker topic. I'm ready. The one and only Fangeri. He is coming back to the crew. Leo oh, yeah, seemed dude. to be the only one who was optimistic about it because Leo uh-huh. told Fangeri, and he's been telling Fangeri for months mm-hmm. and months, that all Fangeri needs to do to come back, uh, much like Dorothy clicking her magical slippers together, mm-hmm. was he needed to post a story saying he loved Danny Mullen. Yes. Austin, do you have the screenshot of that? I can send you that too, Austin. Then, We're going to put that up on the pod. See, because Fan Jerry is a confused soul. I don't think he knows what he's doing. He's like the guys that were on the cross neck, uh, uh, side by side with Jesus. You remember when he forgives them because they didn't know what the fuck was going on? Wait, no, you mean the guys who crucified Jesus? The oh, guys that were he, the, the guys guy, that were on the cross next to him were like robbers and murderers but he, he, and shit. He, he forgave him too. Did he forgive those guys? I believe he forgave. We should, one we should probably ask these he guys. He forgave one of them. What did the one guy do? Well, the guy was like, "Oh shit." Jesus stuff. <laughs> when I die, like, can I join you in heaven? And hell Jesus yeah, dude. Like, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that was <laughs> me, dude. That was me, like, dude, I'm fucking, I'm repenting. How right convenient. Now. That guy was the John Wayne Gacy of wherever that was. <laughs> and he just uh, happens they to wind kill. up on a cross next they to Jesus. Kill. I feel like they'd kill people for fucked up things back then, you know what I mean? Like, anything you did. Absolutely. The guy yeah. stole some bread, dude. If, it could have been like he could have been doing something pretty minor. Yeah, he might have sneezed in the general direction of Rome. Yeah. And some guys with feathers on their helmets showed up yeah. and put him on a fucking wooden cross. <laughs> Maybe they caught him beating off somewhere and it was too close to a church. It was gnarly, dude. They loved to cruise. I did research on this because I did a Jesus bit like two years ago, maybe three years ago for Christmas. And yeah, dude, they didn't nail hands up. What they would do is they would just tie your feet and arms to the various parts of the cross and all over the Roman Empire. Oh this God. was done to dissuade people from being disobedient. Yeah, and it worked. Apparently, it, it worked. Yeah, you don't yeah. feel like paying your taxes to good old Rome. You don't feel like giving Caesar an opportunity to get his beak wet and your blacksmith money. Well, here's the stipe. Here's the patibulum or whatever they call the, mm. the fucking cross bits. You're going up on him, bitch. Scary, man. I would have been, man, I would have been... I would have I would have died a violent death back then. Yeah, for, for sure. adultery. For adultery. Well, that would have been your crime. Yeah. We're gonna call this bastard up though. Let's I call guess. him up. Let's call him up. And I think, you know, I think it's time you don't gotta be sensitive about it. I think it's time for you to give him a little bit of you know, give him some hell. It's okay. I think he can take All right. it. All right. I'm yeah, just but don't don't right. go too hard. The hell that I give him now is going to be child's play compared to the hell we give him in the main channel video when he comes back. Oh, God. It's going to be a good one. He better fucking answer. He's like, I'm in meetings in and out. He should have called him sick today. This is a yeah. big occasion. Yeah. Hello? Yes. Fan Jerry. It's Leo. Up, and it's Leo. And, uh, you know, I do have Danny sitting beside me on uh, in his chair on the Leo and Danny show. And uh, I am just happy that you two are talking again. And um, look, there's a lot of emotions wrapped up in this. But Fan Jerry, are you excited that you are back on the regime? Yeah. 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 I don't know if that's, is that yeah. good enough, Leo? No, no, Jerry. Listen, um, hey, Leo, ask me if I enjoy making love to my girlfriend. Hey, Danny, do you enjoy having sex with your girlfriend? Yeah, it's great. Huh. Listen, Fan Jerry, we're not buying it. But also, can I ask you a question? What? Are you all afraid of what you might have to do on your video back? No. Oh, you're not afraid of it. Why is that? Why are you not afraid? Because you know you're not going to die? Uh, so I'm working. No, I'm not concerned about death. Oh, you, okay. So that's, you welcome death. That's, that's, that's not even one afraid thing, of death. Yeah, that's one thing you should have known, Leo, with, after Damn three it. years of hanging out with Fan Jerry. Fan Jerry, I'm going to let you right now. <laughs> If you would like to use the opportunity, monologue to the audience mm-hmm. about what happened and about what you intend to do now that you're back with the regime. Tentatively back. You still got to film your comeback video. The comeback video will be a good one, Fat Jerry. Let him monologue, though. Yeah, go ahead. What do you mean what happened? Nothing really happened in particular. Oh, really? Hmm. Just a mix-up? Over three years, there was some built-up tension. And I mm. fucking snapped. Hmm. And I quit and I walked away. Which moment? 
of your Danny Mullen career would you say was the one that you revisit the most? Was it the finger in the ass? It was that was the nozzle actually. Okay, it was douche. the nozzle, but it's funny. Yeah. It'd be funny <laughs> if it was finger. Um, that was in the Blink One Eighty Two video. I think what Leo was asking is what moment, mm -hmm. if you had to narrow it down to a moment, fan Jerry, was the most significant in your decision to quit? The last one. Which was? Nina. Oh, Mia, tricking him into, you know, wanting to bang your girlfriend. No, no, no. Nina. Oh, Nina. No. Oh, Nina. Oh, Nina. Oh, Nina. Oh, well. <sighs> Fan Jerry, it's about not being an asshole when it comes to boasting about pussy. You have to be humble. You can't walk into a party coming and say, hey, guys, you, I'm fucking Coming out. from you. I know. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> a, Fat Jerry, listen. I'm a, I'm a do as I say, not as I do guy. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Leo, I think there was a video <laughs> where you had a business about how much pussy you got. There was. There was definitely. There was a video about that. Now, Fat Jerry, listen. It was all for humor. We love you. Well, you you might have you know you could, why can't why can't you get, reach out to her again and well, see maybe if you guys have a connection. Well, let's let's revisit what he's talking about for people yeah. who aren't okay. sure who don't know what happened. There was a part two in a series we'll call the Danny Mullen rents an Airbnb and everybody gets shit faced series. Yes, the first part we set Fan Jerry up with my girlfriend Mia. Mm. Fan Jerry. Went upstairs with Mia. Granted, he was on a lot of cocaine and drunk, mm -hmm. and he fell for it when she made it seem like she wanted to fuck then and there, and we filmed him lunging in for a kiss. Yes. It was hilarious, Jerry. You got to admit. It was one of the greatest things the channel's ever produced, to be honest. And, I'm not upset about that one. And Kyle... That was great. Made and, you a legend. Kyle from Nelk was a big fan of that moment, Oh, too. Kyle from Nelk is just a big fan of you in general. But, fan Jerry, that... He still follows me on Instagram. There we go. go. That, I felt, gave me a little bit more leeway to pull a prank that was a little bit more conniving. Yes. And that's why I thought the Nina thing was okay, which, if you guys aren't familiar, in the video, I'm canceled. We got a girl that was coming to our party in Temecula, to the Airbnb, to work with us on making Jerry think she was going to fuck him that night, but instead have us pop out of the closet when they were about to hook up in an upstairs bedroom. Yes. I want to remind you, though, Jerry, that after that, you and I were taking shots. We were buddies. It was all good. Me and Ian made a conscious decision to edit all of that footage out of the video to make it seem like it ended on a more somber note. Mm -hmm. We actually purposefully cued sad music as Fan Jerry walked down the hallway into an empty bedroom and closed the door in shame. But right after that, Jerry, you and I were high-fiving. You made out with that girl. I paid her to make out with you, by the way. And then we were having a great night. So I just, in case you've just rewatched the video and that's forming your memories on the subject, I will remind you of all that. Mm. Now, Fan Jerry. Yeah. Uh, let him answer on that. What, what do you have to say about that? Yeah, keep, what do you, what do you want to, what do you have to say about that? Nothing. You're, no, you're, that's accurate. You're, you're right. being accurate. So this is what we want. This is what we want. Uneager. Yeah, uh, why aren't Austin you mad wants to say, Austin yeah. face fucked that girl, Jerry. I didn't face fuck her. No, yeah. No, Sorry, that's, Jerry. No, I'm more mad at her. She's just a young woman. We all make mistakes. Now, listen, Fan Jerry. Are you saying that fucking Austin was a mistake? No, well, you know, <laughs> no. I'm saying that, I guess. Yeah, it might have been a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, Fan Jerry. Probably was a mistake. Fan I'm Jerry. You there, this buddy? This is. This is bigger. <laughs> this is bigger than you, Fan Jerry. Your return to the channel is has got to be big. We want an eager Fan Jerry. Are you going to look at this video like your big quest? I don't know. You could be Frodo Baggins. You can be whoever you want to be on this quest. But you will you be adamant about doing anything and everything to get back into the good graces with not just the fans, but with Danny and me and Austin and Dino. And Swolby and all the people that love you, you know, you've been you've been through thick and thin. Some of the biggest videos on this channel. We need you, Fan Jerry. We need you to go big. Second most viewed. You weren't even there, Leo. You bastard. Now listen, are <laughs> we going? Are we going big? What's the Fan second Jerry? most viewed video? It's the one, Walmart uh, employees. 
That's number one. Yeah, that's number one. Number two is the fake uh, no, white belt, right? No, fast food employees is number one. Mm. Oh, fast food employees? I just mm. looked it up yesterday. Mm. Wow. Oh, interesting. You just looked it up. Uh, hey, can't, you can take the man out of the channel. You can't take the channel out of the man. Mm-mm. Fan Jerry, are you going to tolerate whatever we throw your way during this comeback video? Most likely. This is great. Now, I have a question. Uh, can we go through a couple of things that, you know, we're just going to say out loud and, and we'll see if you are down? Can we just start riffing about a couple of things? Maybe. All I don't right. have that much time. All right. Well, let's do this fast. You have. <laughs> he doesn't have much time for this. Something channel? has been. Ins- yeah, I know. What? Have you been. In- Something's been inserted in your anus on video before for the channel. Will you be open to do that? Something like that again for this video? Oh, no. Repeat jokes are what Danny lives off, so okay, good idea, so Leo. Next. Yes. He's down. <laughs> I, I, he was also being insulting. I don't know if you picked that up. Well, Jerry, jokes why, was that, nece- why was, was that necessary at all? Oh, I was being insulting to Leo, not you, Danny. I get it. I get it. All right, so he's down. He's down. I don't know if I believe ass. him, but he's down to have something up his ass, Danny. Okay, well, it's going to be a gentleman named Detron's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Fan Jerry, are you down to be... I'm not going to say it's going to be another Christ redemption video, sort of like Iggy had to deal with back in 2019. I'm thinking he might be Brutus and I might be Caesar. The ghost of Caesar come back to make sure he regrets what he's done to me. Oh, I fucking love it, dude. I can see him in, in the in the getup. Yeah, the toga. Oh, the toga? Oh, God. And, the to- and we all have the little ivy headbands. Oh, my God, please. And there's Can't a bunch wait. of Greek shit going on. That'll justify him getting fucked by Detron. Because yes. they all, all the Roman shit. Because they did the... I said Greek. The Romans did a bunch of gay stuff, yep. as did the Greeks. Yep, yep. No, absolutely. Oh, a fan Jerry, um, this is great. Now, you know, I always fantasize. What, what would you have done if we would take... We've never taken him to a whorehouse. We're really all over the place, aren't we? Yeah, I know. We really are. Well, okay. I think he's down for anything. If he's down to have something up his ass, Danny, I think he's down for anything. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe a paintball gun might factor into this. I was thinking about, for some reason, I had the image of Fan Jerry in a G-string and a bra (laughs) tethered to two palm trees, both wrists, while we whipped him, flogged him, or in some manner inflicted physical pain upon him. That image was just in my head when I was out at Venice Beach this weekend. Wow. Yeah, I personally, I think that there's always a like a like a, you know, there's there's always pain. And but at the end, there's a reward, too. So hopefully he gets a reward. Maybe a prostitute. Yeah, a prostitute. Jerry, can I ask you one more thing? And this is not comedy. Uh, This has nothing to do with your pain or redemption. I'm just curious. What made you post the story saying you missed being my friend? What was your thought process in the hours or days before posting that? Uh, well, I had reached out. We had talked just a couple weeks before that, and it hadn't gone well. That was before the infamous TikTok video came out. (laughs) You know the TikTok Uh, video will be... I had messaged you. I had messaged you six and a half days before I posted that TikTok video and you just never responded. So after a week, I figured, fuck, he's never going to fucking respond. I'm going to post this anyway. Okay, I th- I'm not going to check back because I don't think it's a big enough deal and I think we've moved past it already. But Jerry, I think I remember us having a full conversation and it not going anywhere, even though I was trying to reconcile with you. And then the TikTok video came out. I remember me no, trying to make things. No, you just noticed things... it days later. What's that? You had just says... noticed it a couple days after I'd posted it. I noticed the TikTok video. Okay, because from what I remember, I tried to make things better over text, and you were still being a little prickly. You weren't quite ready to come around yet. Yeah, well, I was uh, going through. I have a lot going on. What's going on? I can't talk about most of it because corporate NDAs, but... Mm, insider trading? Are you merging yeah, with Pepsi-Cola? Yeah. Is Fan Jerry's yeah. lemonade merging with... Uh, yeah. Uh, so be, I, you might be forced card. to move. They Is bought me true? out. Oh, nice. You might be forced yeah, to move. I'm going to... I am moving to L.A. Well, East this is L.A. Great. Covina area. Mm. Covina. Okay. Well, Do you need a roommate? Yeah. That's... Yeah. Dino's down to live with you. <laughs> or you're not going to be able to access your kitchen, Dino, but it's still going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Dino, it's... I mean, it's, it. it's like we have a sloth on the chair over I would there. Say that's exactly he, he what he is. He made a sloth-like facial expression. He is a sloth. This was Dino. I... I... Uh... All right. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm sorry. We have an incompetent guy holding the action cam. So you're coming up to L.A., and are you going to maintain the same job, or are you starting a new one? Uh, maintain. That's amazing that you have uh, – you, you are you get up every day, and you work hard, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. Liam can't, yeah, Leo can't fathom something like that. Nah, working. Yeah, Leo hasn't held a real job ever. Uh, that's not true. I worked for Canon for three and a half years, yeah. and I worked at Waterworld for four and a half. Mm-hmm. I got, and then uh, I also worked at a appliance sales job for the Great Indoors for a year and a half. <laughs> the fact that you're going in so much depth to defend yourself. <laughs> uh, true or false, Leo, the main perk at all those jobs, and the only reason you didn't quit was mm-hmm. because they had large parking lots and a robust female employee base. You know what? I have to be honest. I did hook up with someone in, in a parking lot at every job. I know. It was numerous times. We're aware. We're yeah. aware. Especially Waterworld. And thank yeah, God they canned your ass because a big lawsuit was going to arrive for them if they uh, did. Oh, yeah, dude. Just consensual blowjobs in parking lots. And since you're working and there anymore, and the ladies can't go back, try to find you, see who the baby daddy is. You're Makes so your life right. a lot easier if you just keep it's, quitting and moving on. Jerry, Jerry yeah, you yeah, know right. he would never fuck any of those girls. I wouldn't. I mean, he might reluctantly bang one of them from doggy, but he probably wouldn't <laughs> even be able to come. Okay, Jerry, so you're coming up to L.A. So did any part of you think, hey, I'm going to be up there. Might as well make peace when I'm up there. This is a political move. I need to grow my channel. No, my friendship I found with out Danny I'm comes moving second. days. I just found out I'm moving like three days ago. Okay, and my other part of my question remains the same, though. Was any of this motivated by, hey, I need to make the Just Jerry channel blow up by any means necessary. If that means shaking hands with Danny while my fingers are crossed behind my back, so be it. No, I haven't even really been posting to my channel anymore. But you're going to start once you get back on our channel and you get your redemption video going. Uh, maybe. All right. Question, um... What was the last time you had sex, Fan Jerry? Don't lie. Tell us the truth. Uh, five and a half years ago when I had my conceived my kid. Jerry, stop. Tell us the truth. When was the last time you had sex? Happy uh, five and a half August? to young Terry, by the way. Mm. August, you had sex? August. With whom? Yeah, I think so. Uh, was the girl a fan girl? of the channel? Mm. No. You're such a liar. <laughs> You're a liar. You're lying. So this I'm girl not. Just... I knew her from the military. You knew her from the military? That's got to be a violation of something. I want to know this girl. I want to meet this girl. Isn't that, isn't that is that like treason, maybe? Yeah. I'm not sure what the violation is, but it could be something like that. Fan Jerry, I want you to start That's the video. That's not how that I, works. I, I want you to bring the girl that you had sex with in August to the video. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be glorious. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Well, no, I promise you, you'll never get names, faces, or pictures of any girl that I am fucking ever again. That's fine. I'm not well, dumb. We, that's, that's fine. We'll figure it that's, out. That's, that's clearly in your there's, follows. There's an open murder case on all those girls as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jerry, I, uh, I, no, no, enough kidding. We're not going to prod into your personal life anymore. I'm just here to say I'm glad to have you back, mm-hmm. and we're going to do a big, fun. Welcome back, Jerry video sometime in January. Some parts of it are going to be a little unpleasant, but I just want you to know that I would do the same to anybody else who came back. That's right. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, okay, buddy. Well, it's good to have you back, man. We're going to meet up in person off camera sometime soon and work things out. Okay, sounds good, buddy. All right, dude. All right, fan Jerry, we miss you, buddy. I got to go back to work. I'll see you guys later. All right, see you soon, buddy. Go, uh... What does he do again? Like Cal- calibrates shit. Mm-hmm. Calibrates. Who knows? He's never really been able to describe what he calibrates. Leah, would you, if you were working alongside Jerry in a lab coat, calibrating shit, how long do you think you would last? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> it depends on how many people in the office I could have fun fucking around with. If I could prank people, and then if there were some women that would blow me in the parking lot, then I, I, I would last at least a year. I went with Jerry on like a work trip. And saw what he actually does. Calibrates like medical equipment at hospitals. Like that's people are easy. Uh, that's like he's got people's why lives medical in malpractice his hand. lawsuits are so. Exp- <laughs> that's why they're fucking all over the place these days. All right. Well, I don't know how to feel about that. We spoke to Fan Jerry. 
He seems somewhat sincere. Yeah. Somewhat not. The right. only way to tell is when I can look him in the eye face to face. And yep. then I'll know. Because when I can see a man's eyes, I can see his soul. Oh, yeah. So, Fan Jerry is... I don't think he, he can lie very well, in my opinion. Do you think he's a good liar? I think we've always known when he lies. <laughs> We better not get into that. Yeah. Because some of the uh, controversial topics with Fan Jerry are, mm -hmm. I'm sure he wouldn't like them discussed. Oh, now that he's yeah. got one toe back in the Danny Mullen pool. Mm -hmm.